And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Golgari enchantments. Finally, we're going to be able to play um, the other enchantment deck besides just Selesnya that we had earlier. We're going to be trying Golgari here. The real strength of Golgari, in my opinion, is having some good removal spells with Deadweight and Meyer's Grasp. They like really efficient removal spells, one and two mana, that are also enchantments that help trigger um, all of your stuff. But of course, the backbone of our deck is Setessen Champion and Nessian Wanderer. Both of these uh, say that whenever you play an enchantment, you draw a card, basically. The Wanderer, you get a land. The Setessen Champion, you actually draw a card. But then to, to pair up those eight, we got three more um, kind of engine cards with Hateful Eidolons that whenever enchanted creatures die, you draw a card for each aura you control that was attached to it. So this is another way that you can draw cards you know, with the dead weights and the Myers grasp. And plus it's just a one mana, even without that, it's just a one mana enchantment to trigger the Wanderer and Satessan Champion. And that's valuable to have as well. So we have like 11, um, uh, what are there? Um, 11 pieces that engine, there we go. 11 engine cards to help us churn through our deck. Um, top end, we get Casualties of War, which is awesome in the, uh, in this format, same with Liliana. I'm going with two Liliana that we can use to have our opponent sacrifice Dream Trawlers. Um, I really like Destiny Spinner. I've been pretty impressed with this card. And I just got one Eph Ephemia. Um, you know, we could have more Ephemia, maybe instead of like Murderous Rider or something, but I just have the one that I found room for because I wanted to play one Kaya's Ghost form to kind of try this uh, card out. Um, it should Kaya's Ghost form works kind of well with Vraska Golgari Queen, or even if like they're not playing um, creatures, you can honestly just Kaya's Ghost form your own creature and then like Myers Grasp or Deadweight it and uh, get it back and draw a lot of cards that way if you have some of your engine cards online. So let's give this a try. Um, let's see how it does. And let's play some Golgari Enchantments. We're going to be playing this in ranked, traditional standard ranked. We'll play either four. Four or five matches, we'll see how long the matches take. Um, our other two leagues that we played earlier today were really long, um, so we have like an hour. Usually I'd be streaming for like one more hour, so we may just play four matches. Because, yeah, yeah, we've been streaming for six hours now, or <laughs> just those two leagues were six hours long total. Pretty crazy. Hey, Hawkeye. You want to come up here? You can come up here, too. Hey, boy. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, Nightmare Shepherd's an enchantment creature, which we want as many enchantments as we can have. It's also strong that if we have our other creatures die... If we have our other creatures die, we can, um, you know, like the the champion card brings them back. The shepherd, there we go. The shepherd brings them back. That's what I meant to say. Hopefully, this is not blue white control. Hopefully, it's a creature deck. Yay, creature deck. Get this Nessie and Wander in play first because we need lands. Hopefully we draw a black land because we need to play Myers Grasp this turn on this Pride Mate. Nope. All right, so we don't get to play Eidolon. Also, that's okay. We're still gonna outgrind just fine. Now we get to play Eidolon. We lose out on one card draw trigger. Which will be just fine. Yeah, I think we got this game too. Let's see if we go a little <clears throat> greedy here. Let's see if we hit a land drop. 
sure did. Huh, I don't even have to crack up. Getting rid of the L seed, because if, if I target something else, they just sack the L seed. I guess they're still just going to sack it anyway, though. Well, they should have sacked it. And I think we got it from here, okay. Yeah, Nessian Wanderer is awesome. You know, it gets a lot of extra lands in your hand, but then the Dryad means you get to play two lands a turn, so you can get them out of your your hand. That, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and shuffle with the Fable Passage. That was a lot of your cards that I want to draw, just put down to the bottom. Where are these ores at? Yeah, cat needs a cat cam. That could be something cool to set up if I can get like a little little bed for Hawkeye that he, he sleeps on. Get him his own camera. All right, more dead weights. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if my opponent has much of a chance here. Take out the ghost form and the casualties. And a spinner. Oh, yeah, Dryad does work great with Cabal Stronghold, doesn't it? Maybe we need to make something with that in Historic. Well, we have no removal and no... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Let's say we had no removal and no none of the other eight cards, the Wander or the Satessan Champion. Yuck. Yeah, minus two, minus two, draw a card for a black mana. It's pretty good. What about for two mana, minus three, minus three, draw two? some value. Yeah. 
This is basically Golgari Valley Town. Gonna have to kill this pride mate. Okay, how about... Uh, I don't know. I could I could kill this giant killer and then gain or draw three cards. But then I guess they, they give the pride mate lifelink and that thing's just kind of going to be off to the races. Hmm. I guess I'll just go with Phenia. Now these auras that we use, we get to cash in for two twos. the double block work. That don't... Okay. Oh no! It doesn't work. <clears throat> Never mind, we're still great. Draw all the cards. Tilt. Yeah, I'll take a Braska. Why not? Gain a life. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's definitely cards to add to the Orzal value list from the set. Um, not sure exactly what, just off the top of my head. Um, yeah, that's, an, that's another one we'll have to get to eventually. Yeah, definitely like that, that deck too. Too many decks, too little time. Yeah, mono tap land. That's a good one. Alright, I'll have the Fable Passage go get a Swamp this next turn. So now the, to unlock the Castle Lock Twains. Which I don't... I could crack it there and step it a well. Um, yeah, I haven't played any Croxa decks at all. Um, Grixis sounds like the thing to be doing with Croxa. Even just red black also. Just like a aggro-ish red black. Yeah, go, the mono black discard turned that into Rakdos with Croxa. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We do have we do have like three months till the next set, so we got some time. No, 
double champion down to the bottom? Why can't we ever draw champion? Maybe there's another one, okay. Maybe there's another champion. Like you. You're a champion. It's tough to play around the Simic counter spells and, you know, Night Pack Ambusher and everything like that. I wish I could double spell next turn. Like, I wish I could Myers Grasp and something else. I think I'm just gonna Nightmare Shepherd. Double spelling is just so important against counter spell decks. We're gonna hold Myers Grasp so we can draw something else and be able to play them both the same turn. Yeah, Birth of Melitus. Um, is that a good two drop for the green white enchantment deck? If depends on like what happens in the format. The format gets real aggressive, yes, but the format doesn't seem too aggressive, and it seems like the green white enchantment deck already has a lot of good tools against aggressive strategies. Well, there we go. Kind of want a Fable Passage, because we saw all those Hatessen champions go down to the bottom. scary probably not high probability this casualties of war resolves right Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Turbo Fox going up on YouTube right now. It'll be there in like 45 minutes or so. Um, gosh. 
It's just such a such a low probability this casualties of war resolves basically ever. Really wish it cost five man. Yeah, really wish we had just one more land in play, and we could double spell. It'd be a lot higher probability for it resolving the next turn. No, let's do the Wanderer first. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, this is not, we're not in a great spot, for sure. So yeah, they just have a counter spell. It's gonna be pretty rough. That's good. Boom. Not good. Not good at all. Makes us true power. Darn, they figured it out. So yeah, like our casualties of war would have just got countered. All right, so we're gonna have agonizing remorse. Get another destiny spinner in here. Um, grasp. We're gonna take out those six six mana cards and even Golgari Queen also. Take out Ghost Form. Do we have enough power in the deck still? Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. Um, I don't know. We're already at 24 land. I don't think I want to shave a land. You know, we just had like Wander. Like, when we have Wander, we can get a lot of extra lands. But then we need Dryad also. I think they have too many non I think they have too many creature spells for thought distortion. And I think I do want to play like some dead weights and Myers grasps. Like I don't want to get rid of those. Um hmm.
I'm not sure. Guess I'll trim one dead weight. The ghost form, we can steal stuff. The, the ghost form, you can only put it on creatures that you control. Yeah, I don't... Don't get to take your opponent's stuff, like put it on their thing and then kill it and then you get it back. They counter the 2-4, but we get a 2-2 two -two anyway. That works. So I can basically just cycle Meyer's Grasp by just putting it on the 2-2. Two -two. We draw the card off of Eidolon, and then we get another 2-2 two -two back. Or I could even just put it on the Eidolon and turn Eidolon into a 2-2 two -two and then draw a card. I don't know. I wonder if I should be doing that. It's pretty difficult to attack him with the Eidolon, the hateful Eidolon right now. Because they could just play like Frilled Mystic. Block it even. Hmm. So if I would have Myers grasped the hateful idol on, we would have had a two two, and I would have cycled one of these away. And then it would have been easier to just attack him with that two two, also, and just attack him with everybody. Kind of wish I would have done that. It was a tough call. Doing that, you lose the upside of, of course, Myers grasp your opponent's stuff with Eidolon in play. I protect that which cannot protect itself. That looks like it could be pretty valuable here. Rise, my elemental friend. Champion! I should probably be attacking this, though. Even with them at nine. Is 
they just play Crisis. They just have a lot of life again. Like they could have, Nissa could be at four where I'd be able to maybe maybe pressure the Nissa more or something. Hey, yellow. Um. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, what do we do here? Besides lose, what else do we do? Hey, Doc Holiday. Good curve. GG's. We're one and one. I want to get just a tiny part of good you are at best of three <laughs> filled with it. Hard with Abzan Hero lately. Don't know if the main core is bad or cyborging bad or just bad. That's that's all. Like it's, yeah. I mean that's a that's a tough deck to play. That is a difficult deck to play. Um, and you know I haven't tried it again with the new set. Honestly, with with the new set, maybe it's not as good. Also, but yeah, like that's that's a that's one that's that that you really have to sideboard well with that deck. You really have to like sideboarding is critical with that one so it's um so you know you'll get there you know if you, if you, were, you may want to you know if you tried I uh, guess we'll go spinner I was kind of already doing that I could have just templed dead weight that would not have been bad either but um That works out. You basically just can't ever block. Just can't ever block for a champion because of Black Lance Paragon. So yeah, we'll get some extra lands, which is good with Dryad. Yeah, blocking, yeah, blocking this Rakdos deck is 
basically impo impossible. It's really tough. You know, Crusader, of course, has Menace. So we're just going to be attacking instead of trying to block. Instead of trying to block. Uh, you can tell I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm just stumbling over my words. Yeah, yeah. If we would have drawn a land there, we could have played like Liliana and made them sacrifice both. I wish that wasn't just zero equipped to Fervent Champion. It's like. I don't know. I could have had Dryad block Fervent Champion, but... I mean, that would have been a good block against Embercleave. Bad block against Paragon. to land blocking is not going to save me we need to play Liliana must be made. boo <laughs> no, I just can't do a 24-hour stream. Just not... Not something I can do. Well, I like our chances... In this matchup, for the most part, Embercleave is probably the most difficult card to, to beat in their deck. So I kind of want to display these Return to Natures to blow up Embercleave, because without Embercleave, I, I really like our chances. I don't know, it's not a bad Kaya's Ghost Form matchup. Let's see, block a lot easier. And I don't, I mean, I don't mind Liliana, but I, th I think we just need to kind of lower the curve. I don't know what I want to take out from here. Could be a Dryad and a Wanderer. Could just be the spinners. Yeah, we'll just take out the spinners. Come on.
I don't know what these hands are. I mean, I could try keeping this. Obviously, we put the Shepherd back. We just have to draw black mana. I'll just mulligan. God, what are these hands? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep this. We can't go to four and realistically win. This There's a chance that this wins if our top two cards are like Swamp Swamp. Maybe it could. No, you stay. I don't think a four card hand's winning. We at least had a, a chance with his hand. Okay. Let's start. <clears throat> yeah, I need I need them to have just like all lands in hand or something like that, like where they don't have anything. And I was I was pretty confident in us winning that. But obviously those hands were just ridiculously bad. I think that's supposed to be a good matchup for us though with with all with the amount of cheap removal and good blockers we have. But didn't go our way that time. Three lands in a one hand? You get to start with three lands? What is this? You get swamps and forests? Both of them? Wow. Honestly, I should probably just keep that dryad. I mean, I guess the dryad's good if the Tessan champion survives. Which it's possible the Tessan champion does not survive. Uh, fog. Um, it's a card. It's basically the same. It's root snare. So like, turbo fog is a. It's a archetype that's been around in Magic for a number of years. I was playing the Dryad first, which I mean I could have played the Wanderer first. 
But I'm playing that first because I want to go champion plus ghost form. So my opponent got stuck on two lands that game. I want to go champion plus ghost form. All right, removal. I heard we were talking about like cutting a land before that last game. <laughs> there you go. Won a game of brawl with Sir Kara. Awesome. Good job. No, I didn't. No, King J just didn't have. To, just don't have time for. T I just took the team ramp off the list. We're gonna. We're gonna have to play that tomorrow. Again, just getting pushed back again. Because you know we've been. You know, st stream would normally be done in about 17 minutes. Like, we'll play one. We got one more match to play. Well, after losing that because of our mana, my opponent, I guess, had really bad mana for two games in a row. comes around goes around thing <clears throat> I will keep four lands in a hand wow so many lands Hmm. <sighs> yeah, we'll keep Golgari Queen. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, McHugh. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going for almost a year now. Sub 51. Hey, Mink. Is it more, more reliable to farm gold in the best of one standard event or the traditional standard event? Um, you can earn more in traditional standard, and I guess probably more reliable if you're if you're consistent with your deck. Best of one is kind of a little bit more of a crapshoot. Um, but you know, best of one's a lot faster. Also, so like you have to take that into consideration too. Keeper. Um, but as far as like what deck to recommend, I don't. I'm not sure. You know, like we're just in a in a new format here. You can basically play anything if you kind of watch the stream of, of like how I've just gone like five ones with lots of different decks. You, you can kind of play any anything that you like. You know, like a, different people like different decks. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'll still be streaming tomorrow. I'm taking Hawkeye to the vet real early at 8 a.m. So I'll still be, um, you know, streams at 3 p.m. my time. So yeah, I'll still be streaming. I leave dead bodies wherever I. Ah, uh, thanks. Pity we couldn't have been Yo, just says your your cat is amazing. You are Hawkeye. You are amazing, Hawkeye. Hmm. 
unfortunately, they have the extra 1-1. One, one. They get to kill my Vraska. So, like, they have Vraska advantage. I'll even have that. This is going to be a tough one to win. Could use a dead weight. Myers graphs, you know, something to just like kill this 1 1 draw card. Make it easier for Liliana to kill the Questing Beast. Oh, they're just gonna sack that, okay. Okay. I could see that, Schefter. I can see that. And you're playing the the updated list of Teamer Ramp, right? Cool. Yeah, I don't know. There's there is not much yeah. King says I'm a mid range guy who misses playing against aggro. That's 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 what I've always liked to do too. I've always liked to be a mid range player playing against aggro. Um Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure aggro is too great right now though. And and the thing is is it's not bad, there's just so much life gain. So much good anti-aggro tools. Because it's not like the aggro decks are bad. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Alright, bye, Hawkeye. I think I have one too many green sources and one too little black sources in this deck. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. They were a lousy servant anyway. <clears throat> okay, we gotta hope they don't have another questing beast. Another questing beast. Questing beast is so good. I want to take out Golgari Queen. I think it's kind of expensive for what it does. And... Maybe we take out... No, Rasta. Because I kind of want to play these casualties. I think, this is a, I think this is a good casualties matchup. And I also think it's a good Liliana matchup. Maybe it's not that great of a Liliana matchup. I'm having all the little 1-1s. One All right, we'll play one Liliana. And I guess I'm taking out a Destiny Spinner. I don't know. We have all these things for the little 1-1s, one -one, though. Hmm. 
So I like all these cards. And I think I I think I do want Kaya's Ghost Form to pair with Setess and Champion. as a dryad the the new removal card um yeah eat to extinction it is good it's very good at what it does it's just four mana is a little expensive yeah these hands have been so awkward I mean, Wander does draw us extra lands if we just draw an enchantment. So either, like, we draw land and that's good, or we draw, like, a one or two mana enchantment, which there's a lot of those in the deck. Um, I guess I need to grasp that thing. I'm gonna give myself one more chance. One more chance. I have, you know, eight two mana removal spells that they're the enchantments like dead weight. Got to be kidding me. That's not good. That was not good. Um, I think after playing these, I think I prefer the Selesnia enchantments. They're pretty similar, though. Yeah, I think I prefer Selesnia. Getting Calyx and Vanishing Light. Um, the archetype that I have liked the most so far, I don't know, I've played a lot of decks that I've liked. Um, the deck that's felt the most powerful has been the Teamer Ramp, that we'll get back to tomorrow. That's felt the most powerful. Um, but yeah, I liked the Demir deck we played yesterday. Um... I like the Selesnya enchantment stack. I just I really like Selesnya decks. A lot of stuff I like. I kind of wish I would have grabbed a, a swamp because then I could have cast the dead weight and then activated Castle Lock Twain instead of playing Dryad because I needed to just draw more cards. Your life's about to end. Oh, my <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. Um. Draw a swamp. Yeah. Uh, 
played four Edgewall Innkeepers. I've played zero Satessan Champions. Except me. We played five Edgewall Innkeepers. Just found out the hero of the Nyxborn and Beam Spitter Mage don't have synergy. Rip jank dreams. Well, that's unfortunate. And that's unfortunate with the Order of Midnight. Just a draw six. No, I'd have to say that, uh, that I like to go guard the Selesnya enchantments better after playing this. Um, I don't think we're the, the most fortunate in those leagues, though, because I think that we're actually favored in that matchup that we just lost, and I think we're favored against the... The Rakdos deck, just like those small creature decks, I think we, we should normally be pretty good. Um, you know, they, they just had the Legion's End, they got that three that three for one, and then I just didn't have, you know, I didn't have, like, my engine cards to, to draw extra cards, like with the, you know, my Nessian Wanderers being gone. I mean, that, that was just a huge game there, and they had very good hands both, both games. I'd give it to them. They had better hands than I did. Um, but, you know, like, they have... Like the Edgewall Innkeepers, and they can keep bringing them back. But, you know, we, we have like more engine cards with, with Eidolons, Wanderers, and Champions. Just never really got that set up. You know, never really had Champion. Oh well. <clears throat> um, gotcha. Yeah, the, the Teamer Ramp deck is in here, but no, we, we ran out of time for it today. Um, Cause so this is when I usually end the stream every day. I start at, I start seven hours ago. You know, we've been streaming seven hours now. So, it's whatever time zone you're in, um, it's three o'clock Eastern to ten o'clock Eastern. It's currently ten Eastern right now. But there we go. So there's Golgari enchantments. Uh, dis disappointed with how it did. We lost some matchups. But I thought we had a pretty good chance in, um, you know, like that's how that's how magic goes. I, I thought we were going to do better than, than what we did with the deck, but yeah, I never really got to set test and champion too much. I don't know. All right, but there we go. So that's a two and three. That's about all I have to say about the deck. I mean, I think the deck's good. So like, I, I think that, I think that uh, we could have done better, uh, but we just really didn't draw well. That's what it really felt like. Um, but I think like the, like, the card advantage that this deck can have with Wander and Champion is awesome, but we just didn't didn't ever get it set up. You know, we drew Champion very little in those games. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know how it's going, so you get some more, so we get some more uh, feedback on it. You know, so leave those comments if you're trying out some Golgari enchantments. Um, but yeah, that's it here for the enchantment. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.